Hello guys, I would like to give you some short introduction into Flagger and how you can uh, do the camera deployment using Flagger and Flux and of course I'm running Istio on my cluster as a default so let's begin <coughs> uh, first uh, according the installation manual you need to install Flagger it's uh, CRDs you can be seen here and uh, I'm using Helm for the plug installation you also need to add the plug repository to Helm uh, what you can see here is that the uh, I also need to specify the Prometheus instance for Flagger. Uh, the Prometheus was installed by Istio, so I'm using that instance. And uh, I also need to specify the mesh provider, which is Istio in my case. Another handy tool is um, Grafana and uh, Flagger has its own dashboards in Grafana where you can see the canary deployment and their status so it's uh, really handy you will see it in a minute I recommend it to install it as well um, so this uh, manifest which I'm going to import in a few seconds it's a standard uh, way how you should expose the Grafana to the to the in, to the outside world, so you can see it's a standard gateway. It will be located on this uh, URL, and I also need a virtual service. Uh, by default, I'm going to uh, enable uh, Istio injection in my namespace default. Uh, what I would like to do next is uh, to install the application called Potinfo. Uh, Potfin Potinfo is just a simple application with, which consists on one uh, container. And uh, I already pre-built the image and put it into my Azure container registry. And this is the standard way how you can deploy the application using deployment there are a few specific parameters which are related to port info but everything else is just the default uh, I also need to s create a gateway which will uh, through which all the traffic will go to the port and it's again the standard installation of the gateway um, in for Istio I will use the put in photo to my, my domain IP address uh, hostname uh, the most important part here is the the canary which is the CRD created by flagger and here um, you need to specify uh, the def deployment which I created previously and a few more important parameters like port where it is listening uh, the gateway host name and few more things another very important parameters are in canary analysis where you can see there is uh, some interval threshold and few more I keep uh, everything the, the default uh, like it is in the demo application provided by Flagger uh, the important is that uh, every amount of uh, interval which is 10 seconds uh, the, the traffic which is going to the application uh, will go also to the new version of the application and it will e increase every 5% uh, maybe it will be better if I will show it on the real example in a minute than just describing the fields. Uh, 
Yeah, uh, I'm also using the Flux, which is uh, connected to, to my repository. You can see here are the commits. So everything I'm doing on my cluster, it's, it's usually just a commit into the repository and Flux will take it from the repository and install the manifest or do another actions. Here is my pot info image, as I mentioned before. This is my Azure Container Registry. I've got one version here, which will be important in, a, in the future. So let the Flux finish the synchronization between the GitHub repository and my cluster. And after that, I should be able to access the pot info application. So let's open the web browser. Yeah, it will probably take some time to start up the, the application, but you should be able to see it in a minute. Yeah, here it is. The important part here is the version of the application, which is 2.1.3 like I specified in the deployment because this is what I'm going to change in a minute so this command uh, is showing the, the canaries again there are some details which are already specified like port uh, protocol deployment name etc so that's basically what I showed before. Flux also uh, created the Potin for primary uh, because uh, I I only define the Potin for as a, my default deployment. You can see everything is going to the primary right now and my previously defined Potin for deployment but is scaled to zero so no traffic is going here because there are no ports to handle that. Everything is going through the flux. Define deployment. Similar situation is uh, for services, where flux created three services, kernel primary and put info, and it's managing the traffic between them. Flux uh, also created the virtual services where uh, it specified the destination rules which I can sh show you right now so there are two destination rules specified by Flux defining the canaries What I will do right now is that I'm going to change the version of the image, but uh, this operation will take some time because uh, I'm changing the version of the image in uh, my Tecton pipelines, so it means that Kubernetes using Tecton pipelines, it will build a new version of the potinfo image and this potinfo image will be automatically uploaded into my Azure. This will take probably 10 minutes, so I will speed up the video, but let me just uh, put it there so here I was just changing the the versions in the in the pipeline source code and here I'm, I'm going to execute a new pipeline which will actually start the the building process So 
so this is uh, complete so the build process was just started if I open the Tecton dashboard I should be able to see it here so this is my pipeline run which I created here if I click in you can see the the build process is running it hasn't been the pot which is responsible for starting the build was just created and the build process is running right now so I will speed up the video because this will take some time so now the build is going to finish soon so I will move on run a few more open few more tabs in my web browser and create a team accession uh, with a few different commands which I will show you so in this this screen you can see it's uh, running Luxcuttle which is checking the versions which are available in Azure Container Registry currently it can only see the version 2.1.3 but uh, immediately when the build will be finished there should appear version 3.0.0 and this version will be automatically deployed by Flux into my Kubernetes second screen here it's uh, just showing the simple curl command which is uh, getting the web page and it's uh, just the grabbing the the version of the, the application which is running on my pot info the third part here is the the logs from the flagger container uh, it will show us uh, how the canary deployment is being done so whatever a flagger is doing you can you can see it here in this part that's what I did previously that I created the port info canary and in these parts uh, it's uh, basically the same it's just showing the status of the canary and here uh, similarly like like uh, the, on this screen so that's uh, pretty much what's what you can see let me check the tecton pipeline it's still running so this is the application here you should be able to see the workflow um, but this is the standard uh, uh, Grafana of the Istio but uh, the more important is this one because this Grafana is, uh, is the one which I installed in the beginning use the standard credentials okay 
the build process is still running so let's wait uh, for a few more minutes so uh, it seems like the build process finished if I refresh my repository here you can see there is a version 3.0.0 in the container registry uh, you can see here that uh, Flux automatically find out that there is a new version of the image higher version and uh, Flux uh, should switch from the old version to the new one in a few seconds and then the canary will start Yeah, so you can see uh, the flux just switched the version of the image into 3.0.0 and uh, flagger here in this screen uh, starting to do uh, its job and it starts to do the, the canary so if I will go to, to the potinfo application I still should be able to see the old version here uh, but uh, on this screen uh, you can see that 5% uh, of the traffic which is going to the application is going to be routed to the new version So as you remember, here is the um, the curl command, which is uh, getting the version of the podinfo application directly from the uh, from this URL, and in a few seconds, you should be able to see that uh, some of the requests, which are periodically uh, executed are uh, getting to the new version of the application uh, currently it's it's 10 percent but uh, it will grow more to the number of 50 then there will be a half percent of the traffic sent to a new version and to the old version of the application flagger, so flagger will automatically switch all the traffic into the new version so let me refresh the application and you should be able to see uh, the new version if I will refresh it a few times yeah so still some requests are going to the new version but it's changing All these uh, parameters are configured, the timeout, the number of percentage which, which is growing, not just, uh, for example, 5%, but you can specify 10%, it's up to you. And you can see also here on the, on the right side, with the curl, more and more often you should be able to see the version, version 3. Yeah, actually everything seems to be fine and Flagger will uh, create the, the route to the new version permanently so this means that uh, uh, 
the deployment of the new application was done correctly nothing was broken and the new application is currently running in some kind of production mode so you can see whatever I will do I will only see the version 3 so that was uh, the example how it works let me show you another example where you will be able to see uh, similar uh, the same application but I will simulate the problems of the application and uh, Flagger will automatically stop the de deployment if there are some errors and it will roll back. The important thing is that you don't need to do anything manually, everything is done by Flagger and uh, Flagger is asking Prometheus about the status and Prometheus uh, is getting these data from, from Istio and from the application itself. So here I'm just uh, changing the version of the application again to the 2.1.3. I'm not going to build a new image, but I'm just changing the, the version using FluxCuttle. So it means that Flagger will start doing the canary deployment from the version 3.0.0 to the old version 2.1.3 because that's what I would like to have in in my cluster yeah, I forgot to mention uh, previously the graphs which are showing the and the success rate and how the canaries are done but uh, it will be more interesting uh, when I will be simulating the errors So the flux is changing the version of the image in the deployment. You can see it here. Also, it should be possible to see it here. Yeah. Everything is done the GitHub's way, so everything is stored in the Git repository. The same situation is here. Uh, Flux find out that there is a new version of the image and it uh, changed uh, the deployment. And right after that, the kernel started. So I will copy the command which will generate the errors uh, you can see it's uh, just a simple curl uh, which is uh, get which is generating the errors from the application by getting this this URL so it means that uh, the application will look like it's failing so there is something wrong in if you will have a different application you will you will not need to do that but uh, maybe there will be some some kind of error and the flagger will find it out that there are some errors on the network and it will stop promoting the new version of the application automatically so you don't need to do any manual steps you can see still the requests are 
being handled by the application one version and uh, the new version as well but the, here the flagger finds out that something is wrong and you can see also here the felt checks this is the parameter which I'm getting from the canary is growing uh, once uh, here if there will be a number 10 which I predefined in my canary deployment in the first manifest the canary will fail and flagger will disable the version uh, the, the the old the migration to the old version of the application so right now I should be still able to see both versions yeah the the versions are changing but uh, currently you can see the felt checks is equal to 10 and flagger will revert the change yeah the status here changed as well from progressing to failed and the same you can see it here so if i will refresh it again there will be only the new version and the not the old one which i want to use because of getting these 500s if I open the Grafana you can see that incoming success rate was dropping to 82% and uh, the same was uh, or something something similar was uh, the success rate about the old version so that this is this is pretty handy if you are doing this deployment you can see it on the graphs create your own alarms but uh, flagger also can be configured to use slack to inform you about about the status of the deployment i stopped generating the errors or uh, the failures HTTP code 500 and you can see everything is going to be back in back in normal so that's uh, pretty much all I wanna show you about flagger so thank you for watching